Hello guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make creamy coconut chicken pasta for the whole family. This is so nutritious and delicious. The whole family will enjoy and it's so simple to make. I love pasta and my friends love pasta too. So show this to your children and we can all learn to make it together. First, we have to wash our hands. Washing your hands is very important when you're cooking. Then slice your onions into thin strips and set them aside. Next, we have to chop our garlic, but first we have to smash. Chopping garlic is tricky. You have to move your knife back and forth until the pieces are small enough. Now it's time to chop the carrots. Carrots are very hard. You have to be careful, especially if you are using a chef's knife. You have to cut it into strips before you cut it into smaller pieces. We use three colors of bell peppers because they are colorful and mostly nutritious. Slice them into strips first before you cut them into smaller dice. You notice we haven't started cooking yet because we need to chop, slice and prepare everything we need before we turn on the stove. I have been slicing since I was 3 years old, so that's why I'm able to use an adult knife. Tell your parents to buy a plastic knife if we are not used to slicing yet. Now we are going to blend our coconuts so that we can make some coconut milk. Add some coconuts to your blender and add enough water to cover it. Then blend for 30 seconds until it's roughly blended. This is how to make coconut milk. Easy, right? Now we set that aside and clean up the kitchen counter. Whenever you are cooking, it's important to clean up as you go. Now we have the ingredients ready. It's time to bring out the pots. We're going to be using my mom's Radiance Cookware large wok and a 28 cm pot. Bring some water to a boil. We'll use that for some pasta later. Add oil to a pan, then garlic, then onions. Stir that together until the onions and garlic are translucent. This is how to build flavors for a very delicious pasta. Now to the oil, we add our Italian seasoning and basil. Add your white pepper and stir that together. You want to make sure that you are cooking on low heat so that you will not burn your dry spices. Now add your tomato paste and cook until the sour taste is gone. This should take around 5 minutes on low to medium heat. In the meantime, clear out your kitchen space and wash any dish you need to wash. Now it's time to season with some no cubes. I'll tell my mom to leave a recipe for you in the comments. After seasoning your tomato paste, it should have become sweet. However, for a fresher taste, we're going to add our homemade tomato pep blend. This blend is made out of onions, paprika, chili pepper and tomatoes. Now stir that in until it's incorporated. Don't forget to taste. Adjust for salt if needed. This was already tasting so good. Now we have to add our carrots and our chicken. We are going to cook that for about 3 minutes. Keep stirring and make sure that your food does not burn. You can tell an adult to help you with the stirring if it's too much to stir. Now we're going to add our coconut milk, but first we're going to pour it into a strainer. This is not all we're going to get from the coconut. We're going to add some more water and extract some more milk. By now your kitchen should smell amazing because all the flavors will start to come together. Trust me to always do a taste test. It tasted amazing. Now cover and let it simmer for 5 minutes. In the meantime, check up on the water you are boiling for the pasta. Before you cook your pasta, make sure to add some salt to the water. Otherwise, your pasta will have no flavor. Some people add oil to the pasta water. You don't need to do this. When you add oil to the boiling water, it doesn't allow your sauce to stick to the pasta properly. So please avoid doing that. While your pasta is boiling, seize the opportunity to clean your kitchen. Your pasta should take 8 minutes before your pasta is al dente. Al dente means your pasta should still be firm when you bite. I called my mom to strain the pasta because the pot was too heavy. She reserved some pasta water, but I didn't need it. Now add your pasta to, to your delicious coconut sauce. Now add the beans. The reason why adding beans is because it makes this recipe more nutritious and more delicious. Stir till everything is combined. 
as soon as you add your pasta, your sauce to start to thicken. Stay, 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 and don't forget to taste. I was so proud of myself when I tasted this. It tasted so, so good. Now the last thing we're adding is our bell peppers. We're adding this last because we don't want to overcook it. As soon as your peppers go in, turn off the heat. Look at how amazing this looks. You should really try this recipe. This took me one hour from prepping to the end, and I'm just seven years old. Imagine how quick it will take you when you're an adult. When you have smaller cuts of meat and vegetables, make sure to stir properly. This was so much fun to make. I cleared the kitchen counter and served my family my delicious creation. They were so happy with me, and I'm so proud of myself too. Now I'm going to hand over to my mom to continue with you guys. Till next time, take care of yourselves. Bye. Okay, mom. Okay, Cheche. You guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed that recipe. Honestly, this was one of the most delicious meals eh? <laughs> that I've eaten in a while. This boy really shocks me every single day. And please tell me if you get a chance to try this recipe. It is absolutely delicious. His sister loved it. <laughs> He was standing there like a judge. Like, tell me, tell me, tell me. What do you think about this pasta, guys? Will you try it? Watch it from the beginning. I'll try and leave a recipe for you. But it's really self-explanatory because, man, everything you need is in your kitchen. Try it and let me know. God bless you guys. Bye.